standing by at the National Hurricane Center, uh, Ed Rappaport, Dr. Ed Rappaport, I should say. Uh, Ed, we were talking about what you mentioned earlier about if it hits us, this would be a storm of a generation and the big one. And uh, I was mentioning that you had a lot of experience. You were in Andrew at the National Hurricane Center, uh, fairly new there. But, but t tell us your perspective on this with all the storms you've seen. You know, we have big concern, of course, because it's our own community. We, we forecast for the entire Atlantic area, but when it's close to home or when it's going to hit home, it makes it very different. And so, like everyone else, we've begun to prepare at home and uh, for a potential uh, major hurricane, Category 4. Uh, we hope that the turn that we've been talking about will occur in time to keep the worst of it offshore. But at this stage, we don't know. We have to prepare for the worst. Right, of course. And uh, one thing that we show is the wind speed probabilities. And in fact, uh, we're showing the hurricane force wind speed probabilities. I, I don't think we've uh, shown it with such a large area of high probability of hurricane force winds approaching South Florida. It's been a while. Um, and part of the reason the probabilities are so high is because, in fact, it's so strong now that even if it were to weaken, we still have a hurricane strong hurricane passing over or nearby. It's not a matter of a hurricane dropping to a tropical storm, so the probabilities go down. Um, we're expecting that the center and the hurricane force winds will pass over or very close to us. Okay, Ed, uh, thank you very much. Well, I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot more in the coming days.